So you think you're a rational, logical person who makes decisions based on facts and evidence, right? Well, buckle up, because today we're diving into one of psychology's most deliciously ironic discoveries, cognitive dissonance. It's basically your brain's Oscar-worthy performance of mental gymnastics when reality crashes into your beliefs like a freight train hitting a house of cards. Before we start this semi-professional psychological breakdown, Drop a comment and let me know what other aspects of human psychology you think need explaining. I'm always looking for new ways to point out how beautifully broken we all are. And don't forget to like and subscribe, because apparently my psychology degree doesn't pay for itself. Let me paint you a picture. You know that friend who posts constantly about environmental conservation, shares every climate change article and lectures everyone about saving the planet? The same friend who just booked their third international vacation this year and drives a gas-guzzling SUV because it makes them feel safer. That, my friends, is cognitive dissonance in its natural habitat. Cognitive dissonance is what happens when your brain encounters information that contradicts your existing beliefs, attitudes, or behaviors. And instead of gracefully accepting this new information like a mature adult, your brain throws an absolute tantrum and starts doing mental contortions that would make a circus performer jealous. The term was coined by social psychologist Leon Festinger back in 1957. He was studying this weird religious cult that predicted the world would end on December the 21st, 1954. Spoiler alert, the world didn't end. But instead of admitting they were wrong, the cult members doubled down and claimed their prayers had saved humanity. It's like your brain is that friend who, when caught in a lie, doesn't apologize but instead creates an even more elaborate story to cover up the first lie. You might be wondering, why does our brain do this to us? Well, according to Festinger's theory, humans have a fundamental need for consistency in their beliefs and behaviors. When we experience dissonance, it creates psychological discomfort, kind of like mental indigestion. And just like you'd take an antacid for stomach discomfort, your brain desperately tries to resolve this mental discomfort. But here's where it gets even weirder. Instead of changing our beliefs to match reality, which would be the logical thing to do, we often change our perception of reality to match our beliefs. It's the mental equivalent of rearranging your furniture when you stub your toe instead of just turning on the lights. Let me give you some examples that'll make you question everything about human rationality. Studies show that people who buy expensive products will literally convince themselves those products are better, even when objective measures prove otherwise. It's called effort justification, and it's why someone who spent $3,000 on a mattress will swear it's the best sleep of their life, even if they're waking up with back pain. Your brain is basically saying, I can't be stupid enough to waste $3,000 on a terrible mattress, so this must be an amazing mattress, and my back pain is probably from something else entirely. Or, consider the classic example of smokers. Every smoker knows cigarettes are bad for them. The Surgeon General's warning is literally printed on the package. But watch how their brains handle this dissonance. Some will minimize the risk by saying things like, my grandfather smoked and lived to 90. Others will add new beliefs like, smoking helps me manage stress, so it's actually good for my mental health. It's like your brain hired a really creative public relations team to spin every inconvenient truth. But wait, there's more. Cognitive dissonance doesn't just affect our beliefs about products or habits. It fundamentally shapes how we process information about ourselves and the world around us. Take politics, for example. Research shows that when people are presented with information that contradicts their political beliefs, the areas of their brain associated with physical pain actually light up. Your brain literally experiences challenging information as a threat. And then your brain does something truly spectacular. It activates the areas associated with reasoning, but not to evaluate the information objectively. Instead, it uses reasoning to justify dismissing the information entirely. It's like hiring a lawyer whose only job is to prove you're right, regardless of the evidence. Studies by researchers like Drew Weston have shown that when people encounter information that threatens their beliefs, they don't think their way to new conclusions. They feel their way to old ones. And here's another fascinating example. You know how some people avoid reading books or articles that challenge their religious views, even when they're genuinely curious. Their brain treats any contradictory information as an existential threat. 
If someone's entire worldview and sense of purpose is built around specific beliefs, investigating alternatives feels too risky. It's like their brain is saying, why risk finding out I might be wrong about something so fundamental to who I am? This happens across all belief systems when the psychological stakes feel too high. You might ask yourself, is this just about big, important beliefs? Absolutely not. Cognitive dissonance shows up in the most mundane aspects of daily life. Ever notice how people who buy lottery tickets suddenly become experts in probability? The odds are better on Wednesdays, they'll say, or I have a system. They know rationally that the lottery is basically a tax on people who are bad at math, but they've already bought the ticket, so their brain scrambles to justify this decision. It's like watching your brain put on a tiny lab coat and pretend to be a statistician. Or consider buyer's remorse, but in reverse. You know that feeling when you buy something expensive and then immediately start researching it obsessively, but only looking for positive reviews. You're not trying to learn about the product anymore. You already bought it. You're trying to convince yourself you made the right choice. Here's where cognitive dissonance gets really interesting from an evolutionary perspective. You might think this mental quirk is just a bug in our psychological software, but it actually serves some important functions. Imagine if every time you encountered contradictory information, you completely changed your worldview. You'd be the most indecisive person on the planet. Cognitive dissonance helps us maintain stable identities and beliefs in a world full of contradictory information. The problem is, our brains evolved in small tribes where most information came from people we knew and trusted. Now we're bombarded with information from sources we've never met, about topics we barely understand and our poor brains are still using Stone Age software to process Space Age problems. But here's where it gets even more ridiculous. The stronger the dissonance, the more creative our brains become at resolving it. Psychologists call this the effort justification effect. The more effort, money or time we invest in something, the more we need to believe it was worth it. It's why people who go through difficult initiation rituals for groups end up more committed to those groups. It's why someone who waits in line for three hours for a restaurant will insist the food was amazing, even if it was mediocre. Your brain is basically saying, I can't have wasted three hours of my life on this terrible movie, so it must have had great cinematography, or the sound design was interesting, or at least the popcorn was good. Research by social psychologists like Elliot Aronson has shown that we're particularly susceptible to dissonance when our self-concept is threatened. If you think of yourself as a smart person and you do something stupid, your brain will work overtime to reframe that stupid thing as actually quite clever. And speaking of self-image, let's talk about one of my favorite examples of cognitive dissonance, the planning fallacy. This is when people consistently underestimate how long tasks will take, even when they have extensive experience with similar tasks. You know that home improvement project that was supposed to take a weekend, the one that's now in its third month? That's not just bad planning, that's cognitive dissonance in action. Your brain can't reconcile your identity as a capable person with the reality that you have no idea what you're doing with power tools. But cognitive dissonance doesn't just affect how we think about our own actions, it also shapes how we judge others. Ever notice how when someone you like does something questionable, you find excuses for them, but when someone you dislike does the exact same thing, it's obviously proof of their terrible character? That's dissonance working to maintain your consistent beliefs about people. Your brain is like, I can't be wrong about liking this person, so their bad behavior must be an exception, or they must have had a good reason, or maybe it wasn't even that bad when you really think about it. And here's where cognitive dissonance gets really sneaky. It doesn't just happen in big, obvious ways. It's constantly running in the background like mental background music you don't even notice. Every time you scroll past an article about climate change while sitting in your air-conditioned room, every time you complain about social media while posting on social media, every time you criticize people for being on their phones while checking your own phone, that's cognitive dissonance quietly doing its thing. Studies have shown that we're particularly prone to dissonance when we have choices. If someone forces you to do something you don't believe in, there's no dissonance because you didn't choose it. But if you freely choose to do something that contradicts your beliefs, your brain goes into overdrive trying to resolve the conflict. This is why people who choose to stay in bad relationships, terrible jobs, 
or dysfunctional situations often become the strongest defenders of those situations. They can't admit they made a bad choice, so they have to convince themselves it's actually a good choice. But here's the really fascinating part. Cognitive dissonance can actually be used for positive change. Therapists and behavior change specialists use this all the time. If you can create a small amount of dissonance between someone's current behavior and their values, they'll often change their behavior to reduce that dissonance. It's like psychological Aikido, using the brain's own tendency toward consistency to promote healthier choices. Now you might be thinking, okay, but surely I can just be more aware of cognitive dissonance and avoid it, right? Oh, sweet summer child. That's like saying you can avoid having an accent by being aware that accents exist. Cognitive dissonance isn't a bug you can debug. It's a fundamental feature of how human brains process conflicting information. Even psychologists who study cognitive dissonance for a living fall victim to it constantly. I guarantee that right now, as I'm explaining this concept to you, I'm probably experiencing dissonance about something in my own life and completely failing to notice it. The best we can do is develop what researchers call cognitive flexibility. This is the ability to hold multiple perspectives simultaneously and to update our beliefs when presented with compelling evidence. But even then, we're fighting against millions of years of evolution that wired our brains to maintain consistent worldviews for survival. And here's the final twist that makes cognitive dissonance both frustrating and beautiful. The very fact that it exists proves something remarkable about human psychology. We care so much about being consistent, rational beings that our brains will literally rewrite reality to maintain that illusion. In a weird way, cognitive dissonance is evidence of our deep need to see ourselves as good, smart, and coherent people. It's dysfunction born from aspiration. So the next time you catch yourself making excuses for that expensive gadget you never use, or defending a decision you secretly regret, or insisting that your favorite restaurant is still amazing even though it's clearly gone downhill, just remember, your brain isn't broken. It's just trying really hard to convince you that you're the rational, consistent person you want to be. And honestly, that's kind of beautiful, even if it's completely ridiculous. That's cognitive dissonance for you folks, your brain's impressive ability to maintain the illusion of rationality while doing mental gymnastics that would make an Olympic athlete jealous. Don't forget to like and subscribe, because apparently my need to feel validated by internet strangers is stronger than my belief that social media metrics don't matter. And yes, I'm fully aware of the irony, but my brain has already started working on an explanation for why this is actually perfectly consistent behavior. Until next time, keep being beautifully, consistently inconsistent.